Hey everyone, this is Abhishek from Lomo's Archi Labs, and today's video is a little experimental because today I'll show you how to make an isometric section in Revit. Make sure to watch the entire video to check a few tricks and tips as well. So, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I have a project opened up that I've been working on recently. This is supposed to be an admin building for a winery. So now I'll be using this particular model to make an isometric and a perspective section, okay? See right now, if I look here, I have already section lines available. So if I go into sections now and take a look at it, You'll notice that this is a basic 2D section and has no such perspective to it. And same with the other one as well. I'll start off by going into the 3D and viewing the model to make sure from where I want a section to start. Okay, fine. So when I'm done deciding, I'll go inside the properties and under extents, I have an option called section box here. See, it'll help you make a box around your model. And whatever's inside your box, only that will be visible. I have these arrows here to adjust the size of this. Now I can even drag this and cut the model from any side, from the top as well. So see, we can cut it from, so see, I can cut it from anywhere. Now similarly, I can adjust this from this side also. But this isn't that good. Let's take a section from the other side. Okay, I'll adjust this. And fine. This actually looks quite better. After I'm done adjusting, this is how it's going to look. So here we have the section, but you'll notice it still looks the same as the 2D sections. So what we can do here is, First, I'll have to go to the View tab. And under 3D, I'll choose the camera. See, I'm doing this to make a perspective view so that I can get a proper perspective of my section. Okay, after that, we'll make it into isometric. Or let's go directly into the axis toolbar and select the camera tool. So now I'll take the camera and I'll place it here. I'm keeping it very far from my model so that it captures everything. And make sure that it is straight. Now after clicking, you'll get a view. So see, this looks much better as a perspective. Fine. Let me add the section box again. And to adjust this, I'll go to the plan instead. I now select the 3D view and right click to show my section box. Fine. 
now i can adjust this After done fixing it, I can now go into my view and check the section. Maybe I'll have to cut again to see my first floor as well. Okay, now it looks better. I can even select any elements here. Now for further editing, I'll type in VG for going into visibility graphics. Now let's say I want to work on the floors. I can go to the cut pattern and select it to be a solid fill in black. After applying, see this is what I get. Now I'll do the same thing with the roofs as well. And apply it. Okay, done. Now for further editing, I can go into graphic options. And select the shadows option from here. I can even cast shadows or choose the ambient shadows. This looks better. Now let me give you a tip. Let's say you want to hide the section box. And for that, what you can do is select it, go in here into hiding elements. And so see from here, you can hide a particular element temporarily. And for hiding your crop region, you can just go into this properties and you can hide the crop region as well by just unchecking this box. See, you'll have your view now. Now add your components here for a better view like plantings or anything that you want. See now I'll show you one more trick. You can directly select the element, right click on it and go into the visibility graphic. And let's say we want to highlight the walls differently. We can go in here and change the cut pattern now. So see now I'll apply and now we have highlighted our walls by a different color. After all of this, when you're happy with your view, you can go in here and export it as an image. Make sure you keep the highest quality by changing the pixels here. And then you could save it in your system. But we actually wanted an isometric one, right? So now I'll adjust my crop region. And orbit it around to find an isometric view. So let's say I fix it here. 
and then again do the same step for hiding the section box and then hiding the crop region also and then after you're done go in and export your image Keep it high quality again. After you're done with all of this, now you can head into your system and take a look at your model. This looks fine. And this is the other perspective image. So if you guys like this video and want us to make more and more content related to architecture, make sure to give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe to our channel. Until the next video, keep learning.